Hello friends, this is Sushant and welcome to the tutorials on activation functions. Today we are going to derive the sigmoid function. So before we start, you may have few questions in your mind like why are we deriving the sigmoid function or is it necessary to know the steps of the derivation or what are the prerequisites to understand the derivation better? So let me give you answers to these questions in a brief. So let's look at the first question. Why are we deriving the sigmoid function? In neural network, use back propagation process to back propagate the error from output to each node or neuron or to weights. We need to derive the activation function and it is a must requirement that an activation function should be differentiable. So let's move to the next question. Is it necessary? So I'll say it is not a necessity but it is always good to have knowledge from basics so that we will get a deeper understanding of the topic or the mathematics behind it. And what are the prerequisites? So you need some basic knowledge of math, linear algebra, and understanding of derivative rules. So this is sufficient to understand this video. If you have any further questions, please put your comments or questions on this video so that I can get back to you with more clarity. Now let's start with derivative of the sigmoid function. So this is the sigmoid function which we write it as 1 upon 1 plus e raised to minus x and we are representing it with sigma x. Next, this is the derivative of sigmoid functions. So this is what we are going to achieve through the number of steps. It is sigma x multiplied by 1 minus sigma x. This is what we want to derive. We are representing this derivative of sigmoid function as sigma prime x. So let's start deriving the sigmoid function step by step. So sigma prime x is equal to derivative of sigma x with respect to x. So next let's substitute the actual function 1 divided by 1 plus e raised to minus x. Then we will simplify this function by expressing this equation in negative exponent. Let's move to next step. So this is what we have derived in our previous step. So let's move further. So now we will apply reciprocal rule for derivation for next two steps. You can see here this equation has been derived from reciprocal rule so I can just mark it here so this is from here we have derived the equation according to this step the next step is again we have got through reciprocal rule so you can see here I'll mark it on screen so this particular step we got it from here so it is the exact replica of reciprocal rule only the equation values have changed let's move further so now we'll use the sum rule of derivative where derivative of a plus b with respect to x we separate the derivative of a and derivative of b the similar approach that we are using here next derivative of a constant is zero so here the derivative of constant is 0 and we need to use exponential rule of derivative to get derivative of e raised to minus x I am marking on screen so to get the derivative of this we need to use exponential rule so let's move to the next step so you can see here we are using the exponential rule to get the derivative of e raised to minus x. Next, we will take out 
the negative sign of x from the function. So now it is derivative of x that we need to find out. We'll move to next step. So derivative of differentiable variable is 1. So here you can see we are just trying to find out derivative of x with respect to x. So it is minus 1. And the negative signs multiplied by other negative signs, which is at the beginning, will become positive. Next, we will just rewrite the equation to make it more simplified. We are just taking this 1 plus e raised to minus x raised to minus 2 as a denominator. Next, to simplify this equation, we will multiply numerator by 1. So you can see here we are multiplying it by 1. And as well as denominator, we are just spreading it as 1 plus e raised to minus x multiplied by 1 plus e raised to minus x. Next, we will simplify the equation more by separating 1 and e raised to minus x with separate denominators. Let's move to the next step. So here, just to simplify the equation further, we are adding and removing 1 from e raised to minus x. Then we are breaking the fraction and rewriting the equation as 1 plus e raised to minus x divided by 1 plus e raised to minus x minus 1 divided by 1 plus e raised to minus x. So you can cancel out the numerator and denominator. So you can see here it is now become 1 minus 1 divided by 1 plus e raised to minus x. Then we are just substituting sigma s at the place of 1 divided by 1 plus e raised to minus x in the equation. So you can get this complete equation as sigma x multiplied by 1 minus sigma x. So this is what is the derivative of sigmoid function and this is how step by step we have derived the sigmoid function so thank you for watching this video hope you liked it in case of any further question you can comment on this video hope to see you in next tutorial thank you